Kate Stamper, this is Gigi with Stamp Fanatics, and today we're going to be using our Sea of Textures stamp set. It's this adorable little octopus with all this wonderful undersea um, stamps, and then it has matching framelits that cut out a good portion of it. It also does some silver dollars, or sand dollars, and um, this wonderful netting that I love, some coral, a whole school of fish, and then there's some more seaweed here that... Um, it cuts out and also the octopus itself. So we're going to be making this cute little bag today and this is made with one sheet of designer series paper and it's sort of a bag box. It can carry you know whatever little goodies you want to put in there and there is after we cut this to our size that we want to make there's no other cutting. There's no glue. There's no anything. It's simple and easy and quick to make. And I'm going to show you some of these cute little embellishments that we're going to do on the bag. So we can go ahead and get started. We're going to take, and I'm going to use a different piece of our textured um, paper. This is called, let me see, it's called Tranquil Textures. And this is some of the paper that comes with this suite with the sea of textures and it's just all this really cool different paper um i've used a lot of it so i don't have that much to show you but um different different patterns and different um colors in it and this one i loved and it was more of a horizontal shape and it reminded me of you know the waves in the sea and today i'm going to be using this color which has more of the night of navy in it and again this reminds me of little bubbles so this one won't be as particular when you're cutting your paper, but when you are trying to get a horizontal or some type of a pattern that repeats that way, you do wanna make sure that this is your eight and a half inch side. So we're just gonna take this piece of 12 by 12 designer series paper. I'm gonna take my paper trimmer and we're gonna cut it down. And I have a lot of the uh, measurements here, but don't worry about them. They're gonna be on my blog so you can see them there. But we're going to take our piece and like with this one it doesn't really matter which way i do it but if i wanted my pattern going horizontal i would make sure this is the eight and a half side so i'm going to go to eight and a half here on my scoring tool and cutter and i'm just going to go ahead and cut that down and then i have this piece left over i can still use and then i'm going to cut an inch off of this side to make it 11 inches so let's go ahead and just cut that. And this piece you want to save because we're going to use that to cut some of our coral. And that's it. No more cutting. Now we're going to take our simple scoring tool. And I'm going on the 11-inch uh, side first. And I'm going to go ahead and score that at 3 quarters of an inch. And then I'm going to do four and a half. I'm going to do six and a half and ten and a quarter. And then I'm just going to turn it. And now I'm at the eight and a half side. And I'm going to go ahead and score it at two inches and at six and a half. And that's it. Okay, now we're ready to make a bag. All right, so. I'm gonna just take my bone folder and I'm gonna lightly just score on all of our lines. You don't wanna do it too heavy when you're using designer series paper because it is thinner than our cardstock, but you do wanna get a nice crisp edge. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold. And I know this is a busy pattern, so it's sort of hard for you to see where the score lines are. Okay, but there aren't many. All right, so that's it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to fold it down the long lies and I'm going to go from this score line to this score line. So I'm going to take my finger where that score line is and I'm just going to fold this down and then I'm going to take a crease and I'm going to score it. I mean, not score it, but I'm just going to fold it down with my bone folder to give it a good crease. Same thing here. I'm going to put my finger there and fold this down right along the edge <clears throat> and I'm going to take another good crease. Then I'm going to turn it and I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm bringing that down straight. Let's see, let's get right at that edge. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and score that and then I'm going to come here to this edge and bring that to the line there. 
and again, take a nice crease. So if you see, when I draw this up, can you see the box that's gonna be in there? It's like that rectangle. And that's gonna be our box, sort of a box bag. <laughs> so before I close it up though, I'm just gonna flatten it down. I'm gonna take a ruler and I'm gonna go about an inch and a half. And I'm just gonna make a little mark and then go from the other side an inch and a half and make another little mark. And then I'm gonna take my hole punch I'm using, oh, an eighth of an inch one. Um, you can use whatever you want. I'm actually going to be using Narrow Ribbon, which is our new um, blueberry bushel. This is one of our new in colors, so I don't want too big of a hole. But according to whatever ribbon you're using, you can use your, um, oops, you can use your regular hole punch or a smaller one or a bigger one. So I'm just going to put my two ends together and I'm going to look for my little mark and just give it a hole punch. All right, and then I'm going to do the same thing, line it up good and then go to the next hole punch and punch. Let's see right about there. Oops, make sure it's even. There we go. All right. And I'm going to take my ribbon, and I find it's easier if you have sort of a point on the edge of your ribbon, so I'm just going to come in at an angle and snip it at a point. And you would put your treats in, whatever you want to put in your bag. And let's make sure I've got this going right. I've got it kind of coming out. There we go. All right, so... I'm going to thread it through from the front to the back and pull it out and then go from the back to the front so we can just turn it over and match up our holes again and then thread it back through again. And I just want to pull it down far enough so I can make a pretty good bow so and have to, room to tie it. So let me just pull that down a little bit and we'll put it there. And then you would go ahead and put your treat or whatever you want in your bag. And then now I'm just going to tie it into a bow. And it's just easier for me if I get this part done first and then we'll start working on our little octopus. And I'm sorry if you're hearing noise in the background. There is a tree trimmer across the cove and they've been there for about two days cutting. And I couldn't wait any longer to share this with you, so here we go. So if you hear a little grinding, that's them, and I'm sorry. All right, I'm just going to cut that down just a little bit. All right, so there's our little box bag. I'm going to put that aside, and I went ahead to save some time, and I took my largest scalloped oval, I mean a circle, and I cut out a piece of Whisper White. And now I'm going to take the long kind of a seaweed stamp that we have and I'm going to use my soft sea foam. This is one of our new colors that we got with our new ink pads. And I'm going to go ahead and just stamp that randomly, sort of a little bit down and then a little bit more up. So I just kind of went kind of back and forth. I didn't want it to be real symmetrical because it's seaweed and that doesn't, that's not how it grows. So yeah, we'll just do it like that. Right. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp my saying. So this way I have that all prepared. So I'm going to be using the Knight of Navy, and this is our old stamp pad um, color for now. And I'm going to go ahead and ink that up. And I am going to try it out here because I want to make sure I don't have it upside down, which I do. All right, let's try that again. There you go. All right, so let me clean that off and we'll just stamp that and put it right about there, okay. And the reason why I'm doing that first is because that way when I place my octopus on it, I won't be covering up my saying. So let's put that away. All right, let's see. Um, the next thing I wanna do is I'm gonna take our balmy blue, and this is another one of our new colors I absolutely love, and I'm gonna stamp our octopus on this. So I have a little piece of Whisper White, and I'm gonna go ahead and stamp him. Oops. 
And then, let's see what else did I want to do. I'm going to do a piece of the coral in that balmy blue. So I'm going to go ahead and add that up here. And then the other piece of coral, I'm actually going to cut out of our designer series paper. So I'm just going to push this from the back. This is the way I kind of like to get it going. And then I just pull from the front and close. All right. So let's see. We're going to get our framelit for our octopus and the one for the larger coral. And then the smaller coral, I'm actually gonna take a piece of this paper and I'm gonna cut it out of there so it has a mixture of colors. So we're gonna take all this and use the big shot. Okay, let's get that in there. And I think we can cut all this out at one time. So let's, let's get everything lined up. Okay, he's looking pretty good. We'll get our coral lined up. Let's see, which way is the coral gonna go? I think like, uh, nope, we're gonna bring it around like that. And let's see, am I gonna be able to fit this? Yeah, if I cut that. So let me cut down this paper a little bit. Hold on. We'll just have to line that up again so we have a little bit more room. All right. Let me just line them up, and we'll go from there. We'll get this back together. There we are. And now I'm just going to take, and again, I'll just cut this down. Let's use this piece. And we're just gonna take this little smaller coral and put it over that designer series paper. Then we're gonna put our sandwich on top, our plate, and run it through. And for that little piece of coral, I'm actually gonna run it back and forth. All right. So we have our octopus. Oops, oh, really stick in there cut out nicely and we've got our coral piece and now we've got our blue and this one I'm actually going to get my brush because it's one of those intricate dyes if you have your little tool with the brush you just brush them out like that and he just comes out so easy and look isn't that cute Okay, so we have a few of those. Let's get this going. All right, let's see now. So how I did this was I just took some of my liquid glue because I don't really want to glue the whole coral down. I just wanted to do just a little bit. And I kind of put it on an angle. And then this piece, I really wanted it to kind of float. And I want to put the octopus over it. So I'm just going to put just a tad in there. And I'm going to kind of overlap it like that. And then when I put him on, I'm just going to slide him in there and make sure that I'm not covering him over my saying. And I'm going to use a few dimensionals for this one. So I'm just gonna put maybe one on his head, one down there, and maybe one over there. So three, three dimensionals. And that ought to hold him pretty good. Okay. And so I'm just gonna slide him in and put him right under it like that. And then this way, this little bit of coral can just be popping like he's swimming inside of it. Okay, now I'm going to take two more dimensionals and put one on the top and the bottom. And I'm going to go ahead and add that to the bag. So we'll just put him in there and make sure our saying's straight. All right, and then I went ahead and took this die and a piece of Knight of Navy and I went ahead and cut it out, used my brush, got them all ready just to save some time. And what I'm doing with this piece is I'm just cutting it right in half, OK? 
Okay. So I'm going to bring in my silicone sheet and my snail. And because this isn't really going to show, because it's going to be underneath um, that piece of white, whisper white paper, I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit of snail. And I'm going to slip it in right behind that. And then my other piece, let's see, I have the narrow one coming out. Yeah. I'm just going to put, again, just a little bit more. And I'm going to slide it in at this end and just have it sticking out like that. And that's our bag. Now, here's another part that I did that um, I did on one and I didn't do it on the other. This one I did and I used the little white um, glitter enamel shapes. And I think I'm gonna go with the white again. I kinda like the white. Yeah, I think so. Let's use those again. All right, so I'm just gonna use them to cover his eyes. You don't have to do this part, but I kinda wanted to make him cuter. And I thought with the glistening eyes, I mean, it's just, they kind of sparkle and they're kind of cool. So there he is. So now you have two versions of this bag. This was one of the papers that were in that designer series. And then here's another one that's more blue that's in it. I absolutely love this set. So here's my host code for June. And if you purchase the bundle, which is the stamp set, Sea of Textures, with the framelits that match and the designer series paper i have a card class for you with three additional ideas of cards that you can make with this set so um you can go over to stampfanatics.com and just click shop and use this hostess code and i'll go ahead and send you the um three card tutorials that are pdfs so you can go ahead and make some more with this um i think that's everything i wanted to talk about today so Thanks for joining me, and I hope you have a great day. And please remember, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you see some more videos. And go over to my blog on stampfanatics.com. Sign up for my newsletter, and you'll see everything else that I have coming up. Thanks.